Hey everybody, Anne here, and today I'm going to try and make apple pie. I don't know how it's going to turn out. Wish me luck. First, the ingredients. We're going to use some brown sugar, some white sugar. Really, I just need a little bit of flour, but I don't have any flour, so I'm just going to use a tablespoon or two of this buttermilk complete pancake mix. We need some apples. I've got some canned apples in water, so they should work okay, I'm pretty sure. And some cinnamon, some nutmeg, some ginger. I don't have everything for apple pie spice, but that's okay. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is open this up. And, you know, I was thinking I was going to have to to drain the water off of this, but I don't think that I am. So let's just dump them all into this pot and see how much fluid we got. <laughs> this is going to be fun. That sounds disgusting, doesn't it? Come on, apples. Yeah. Now, nah, we're not going to have to drain that at all. The first thing we're going to add is about a quarter of a cup of packed brown sugar. Next, we're going to add about a quarter of a cup of white sugar. Next, a teaspoon of cinnamon. And a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. Next, a quarter teaspoon of ginger. And last but not least, a tablespoon of flour. In my case, pancake mix. Hope it works. Right now, all we're going to do is break all this sugar up and give it a nice stir. Get all the ingredients mixed up. And it already smells really super good. Very good. I can smell all the spices right now. Okay, let me get this all mixed up and then I will come back for the next step. Okay, I got my bread maker over the top of my new Coleman single boner. And I did put this little extra piece on it just because the, the bread pan doesn't sit exactly right on the burner um, that you see down there. So next what we got to do is just pour a little bit of olive oil in each side. Okay and we're going to kind of let that move around a little bit. Um, I think what will be easier is if I just go ahead and turn this sucker on and let it preheat for a little bit. Not too terribly hot. Now the first side that's going to be against the flame is going to be this side. So I'm pretty hot heating the whole pan, kind of like it's a um, going to be an oven. But uh, this part I'm going to leave right over the burner because I want that to be hot and that to be not so hot. So hopefully I, I don't burn the crust. Alrighty, so let me go get the crust and I'll bring you back. Okay, these are the pie crusts that I'm using. There's two in each box. I'm going to go ahead and take this one out of the package and put it in this side that has been kind of off the burner and then I'll bring you back and show you what it looks like. Alright, the bottom crust is in. It's a little sloppy but um, it's kind of hard because you have to preheat this pan before you start putting stuff in it. Uh, so yeah, I poked the bottom with a fork and now we need to put the apples in which have been mixed and look absolutely delicious. So let me do that. Okay, got the apples in the pan and actually I've got some extra so I'm going to put them in a container and stick them down in my ice chest and you know what, I think these would be delicious over some pancakes tomorrow morning for breakfast. So now all I have to do is get the top crust on. Alrighty. Got the top crust on and now I'm just going to go around the side and kind of press it and pinch it in to the other crust that's right underneath. Kind of hard to do, but it's doable. All right, let's switch hands. And I might need to do this with two, two hands, but I just wanted to give you an idea of how I get this crust to kind of go down in there. All righty, now I'll need to kind of fix that. So, um, yeah, let me just get that done properly and Oh, it's out of focus, and I'll come right back. Alrighty, there we go, folks. I poked a little holes in the top of that as well. So now, what we are going to do, this side is all nicely heated up. Move this over to the middle. Close it. And cross our fingers that I didn't screw it up. Alright, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cook it for about seven minutes on this side, and then I'm going to take a peek and uh, see what it looks like. And 
and I might want to add that I've got this flame down as low as I can possibly get it because we do not want to burn this crust. So hopefully, hopefully I've got it right. It sure smells good. All right, seven minutes are up. I'm going to take a quick peek. No, not even close. All right. We are going to let it go for, I should have just let this go for, for 10 whole minutes and then 10 minutes on the other side. So I'll know in the future. All right. So let's put a few more minutes into this and uh, come back. All right. Let's open this up. All right. It's looking good. Uh, let's look at the side here. Oh yeah. It's starting to brown. That's all starting to brown. So I'm going to loosen this from around the sides, all of the sides, just to make sure we've got it loose and hopefully I haven't burned the bottom because if I burn the bottom, you know what's gonna happen? It's gonna be ruined. All right, so let's close this up, cross our fingers and, oh my God, I'm scared. I don't know guys. Oh, please, please let it have <gasps> only one little piece stuck. I am so happy. Oh, my goodness. All right, let's close this and let the other side brown. I think I'm going to give it about mm, five minutes. How about? All right, I'll be back. Okay, the last and final step is to see if the other side brown properly. So I am going to go ahead and flip this over, cross my fingers. Oh my God, please let it, please let it be good. All right, here we go. I'm scared guys, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. All right, you know what? That didn't turn out too bad, but it's not done. Let's just go ahead, flip it back over, whoa. Flip it back over and we're gonna put this part over the burners. Uh, the most because that's the part that wasn't done the most. So let's give it another hmm, three minutes. How about let's flip this over again and see if it's looking good. Oh, heavy. Oh, that looks good, but there is like two little tiny spots. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to close this, I'm going to flip it back over. I'm going to keep it the burner on for one minute and then I'm going to turn it off and open it up and let it cool and the there's still going to be heat you know in the bottom part of this pan um, hopefully cooking those little spots that are still kind of looking gummy so yeah that's what I'm going to do all right, the heat is off. I'm just going to open this up a little bit here. You can still see it's still kind of sizzling down there, so the bottom is still pretty hot. So, just let this cool off. Hopefully those little parts on the bottom that still looked a little uncooked will get cooked. If not, it'll be fine. I think I could have um, escaped that problem if I had pierced it a few more times on the top crust. Um, that way the bubbles wouldn't occur so bad and um, it might cook more evenly. All right, so let's just let this cool off completely and then I will cut a slice up and see how it tastes. I, for one, cannot wait any longer. So let's see. Oh, the crust seems real flaky. I don't know if I've got it all the way to the bottom. It's kind of hard to do this with one end. All right, I'm going to plate this up and take a taste and bring it back. I want you to look at that. That is perfect. The insides are absolutely perfect. Here is my slice on the plate. There we go. Look at how absolutely perfect that is. Oh my God. Okay, now it is time to take a little taste. Let me just have one apple. See how that tastes. Mm, of course. It's just really good. Let's see how the crust turned out. Looks pretty good. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Hot. I feel hot. Mmm. 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 
It's delicious. The crust on the bottom is not burnt. It's nice and flaky. It's delicious. Well, you know what, guys? I wish you could see this better. This camp apple pie is a success. And also, if you don't have one of these bread makers, because they're kind of hard to find, you could use an omelet pan. Go to like a Goodwill thrift store or something like that. Find yourself an omelet pan. It's basically the same premise. Um, the only thing about this this particular pan is it's so thick. Oh, and somebody is shooting in the background. Yay. Um, yeah, anyhow, it's, it's very heavy duty. So it distributes the heat really well. Um, you might have to adjust your cooking time with a typical omelet pan. But... There we go, you guys. Camp apple pie. I am killing it. I am killing it. Man hand. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.